Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we cross-examined Miss April May and some pretty crazy stuff was found out. You know, she was tapping Miss Mia Fey's phone. I don't know why I went all formal like that. She was tapping Mia's phone and that's how she knew that the thinker was a clock and not just a normal statue. And also, there was a bellboy who can say that she isn't the killer, so we're going to call him up to the stand and see what he has to say. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons from the middle of my work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. The set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at the precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, our guest, Miss May herself. This is going to be hard because I sort of already give Edgeworth a semi-British accent. Now I'm trying to distinguish him, but uh, I don't know. It sounds a bit weird, so I guess I'll just try to do. Hold on, I'm going to quickly. I'm going to look at my own YouTube video and see what voice I did for this guy. I see the defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, my will be finished. Well, kind of try to do like Edgeworth has a smug British accent. It's it's barely a British accent. And then uh and then the hotel bellboy, I'll do just more like a soft, kind, but, you know, still firm accent. What exactly is it that you do at the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir. I check in guests, I check out guests, I clean rooms, I make beds, I even deliver room service, sir. I checked Miss May in person. Are you always so, so prim? Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call from eight after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Whoops. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her all in, in all of her stunning, stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. Then I saw them, and I, uh, ahem, uh, ahem. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I don't mean to skip past that. Nine o'clock on the dot, you said. Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. I brought the two at precisely the requested time, of course. I get so into doing the voice that I accidentally skip past the part I'm supposed to do. Precise, but ugh. Precisely nine o'clock, then. Precisely, exactly, most definitely, sir. Nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, tee hee. I'd like to like an all. I, 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 uh, I'd like, like, I'd like. The double like is messing me up. I'd like a nice copy at exactly nine o'clock. I'll just do that. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door on, at the crack of nine o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? 
I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir, as in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the... When I brought the room service, sir, she... she... the guest, sir, favored me with an... with, uh, um, an embrasse, sir. Embrasse? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, sir, more of a peck on the cheek. But why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is... is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you shall end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Mm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Oh, oh wait! Please wait! Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it. Now's my last chance. What do I ask him about? I'll ask him about the room service, sir. D tell me again about the, uh, room service. Uh, again, sir? At exactly 9 o'clock, I delivered room service to Miss May in room 303. The guest had requested iced coffee. $18 was the, ch was the charge, as I recall. I see. $18? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Y yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. And we don't skimp on the ice, sir. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite. Indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Y you fool. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Mm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? But who? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man who checked in with Miss May. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it were too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. 
court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Y yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of my affair. Hey, that rhymed. Court is adjourned. So yeah, we just saw Edgeworth's uh, obstruction of justice evidence. What is it when? What is it called when you like hide evidence? Concealment of evidence. That's the word I was looking for. September seventh, two twenty four p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Also, I love the term objectionable. Mr. Wright, you are amazing in there. Uh, really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sent shivers up my spine. Hmm. If you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May, he's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? Heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work with everyone. Or everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. So yeah. If we look at it, the only part that was left was the victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong to that detention center, and it's up to me to get her free. Hey, that rhymed. To be continued, so this might actually be the first time that I uh, start the next section of the case. Also, yeah, after every little to be continued section, and whenever it says the end at the end of a case, uh, this part pops up where you save your game. It always has the little jingle. There's a new one for each game. That's actually an, uh, another thing that I like about the Ace Attorney games is that each game they completely throw out the soundtrack except for like a, cu uh, a couple of character themes and they start from scratch. Like the objection theme is different in each game. The, uh, you know, the cornered theme is different in each game and stuff like that. But you still got the basic stuff like uh, Maya's theme we'll hear next case. Anyway, September 7th, 3.11 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Well, hello. I didn't expect to see anyone visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Nah, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? So yeah, now we're in our second investigation, and it's always best to like find all of the different like running gags, because there are a couple of running gags where across different uh, segments, if you re-examine the same stuff, you'll get a uh, different dialogue, like if we examine the security guard. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss Mayer in here. We also have the camera. I think that's the same. Smile for the camera. Yeah. So let's just talk to Miss May for a bit. That man. About the man who stayed in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? 
Ah, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude, yeah. Say, why are you so... angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bottom-feeding, scum-sucking lawyer. Bottom? I can't tell, does she have a thing against lawyers? Or just against me? And so, uh, we present anything to her. Hey, guess what? Actually, I am um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. This game is funny. Anyways, we've been going for a while now, so I'll go ahead and end this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what else there is to do. We'll see if we can find out more about this mysterious man who Miss May keeps talking about. I was going to try to keep up the M alliteration. The mysterious man Miss May... I'll... Next episode, I'll have something funny ready, so... So make sure to check that out when it comes out. See you guys then. Bye-bye.